Make sure you stuck up a bug spray because experts tell us the mosquitoes only going to get worse from here. Brittany Moncrease just got back from the mosquito lab where they're tracking some of the most harmful diseases. No one likes a bugger and already these pests are out of control. So we go where there's order. The Dallas County Health Department's mosquito control lab. We trap, we test, we treat, we tell, we repeat. A weekly cycle that Scott Solis says picks up in warm weather when mosquitoes are more active. Our surveillance uh, is based off of setting mosquito traps. Like this one. They attract mosquitoes using old sitting water and trap them in nets. And then the contents of the mosquitoes that we have get dumped onto this laminated paper and we begin to sort those. Separating males from females. We're interested in the females because the females are the mosquito that transmits the disease. The males do not bite and take a blood meal. Can you spot the difference? The males have beards. Uh, the antenna for the males are feathery and puffy. There's about 500 in this dish alone. Then they identify species. Our region has more than 50, but since they're mainly testing for West Nile virus, they're looking for one. It's Culex quinquefasciatus. Try saying that three times. We just call it the Southern House mosquito. It's a lot easier. Believe it or not, these mosquitoes are still alive. They have to be in order to test for West Nile, which is done in a second lab. And we're right in the, the seasonality, the peak of our season when we're gonna find that. So it's best to wear long, light colored clothes, repellent, and get rid of standing water. Don't ask what Dallas County can do for mosquito control, but ask what you can do for Dallas County for mosquito control. Keeping the peace among the pests. In Dallas, I'm Brittany Moncrease.